Where do movies come Whoa, from? Whoa, okay, diving right in, I guess. Yesterday I had to sit with the boring neighbour human because my human went to a movies and I want to know what's so great about movies when they're not even me. Well, movies have been around for ages, so it's hard to pick when it all began, but I guess humans have always enjoyed looking at pictures together. Yay, pictures! Yeah, so the pastime of using pictures to tell stories is way older than movies themselves. Things like shadow puppetry are believed to have been around in Asia since 200 BCE. BCE? Before Common Era. Before the year zero. A very long time ago. Wow, that's a long time ago. Right? So yeah, humans used light and shadows to tell stories, and then they were like, what if the shadows were colourful? So hundreds of years later in the 1650s, humans finally figured out how to make the shadows colourful. How? By shining light through pictures painted onto glass so they could project colourful images onto walls for everyone to see. It was called a magic lantern. Wow. Uh, that's not the same as movies though. Well no, but like a movie, it used light and pictures to entertain people. Where did the pictures start moving and talking? Well, they had to move first. The talking comes later. Let's skip forward a couple of centuries. Now it's the 1890s, and instead of being painted onto glass, pictures were printed onto film reel, which could pass quickly over a light so the pictures would appear to move. But they couldn't talk. No, not at first. In fact, there was no sound at all, but sometimes they'd have a live orchestra in the room to play music. Also, they were all in black and white. <laughs> Everything's in black and white. Yeah, but for humans, only old things are in black and white. Oh, okay. So who made all the pictures for the films? A few people, but two of the first and most famous filmmakers were the Lumiere brothers, who also patented the first cinematograph, or motion picture camera. In 1895 they held their first screening, and before long their films were shown worldwide. But for some reason, even though they were filmmakers, they didn't think the idea of cinema would ever take off, but lots of other filmmakers decided to prove them wrong. When did the film start talking? Well... So moving films, or movies, became pretty popular, and theatres started opening specially for them. And films made in Europe were the most popular. Europe is a place that isn't America. That's right, well remembered. And Europe was doing very well making films, but then the humans started fighting, and they had to stop making films because everyone was too busy. But at first America didn't want to fight, so they made films instead, and by the 1920s Hollywood was making nearly 800 films a year. All of them silent? All of them silent, until in 1927, The Jazz Singer was made, and was the first film to have talking. It was so popular that even more films used talking, and they became known as talkies. <gasps> Walkies! Talkies. Talking pictures. And this sudden boom in sound led to the birth of musical films. And then in 1937, The Vanity's Fair became the first feature-length film to use Technicolor. And everyone loved it so much, they used it all the time for their musicals and such. And Disney even used it for his first animated film, Snow White. And films are changing all the time. There was another big fight between the humans later on, which meant lots of new films being made were about those big fights. Then in the 1950s, there was the golden age of Asian cinema. India was making over 200 films a year, and the first Godzilla movie was made in Japan. Now there's lots of Godzilla movies. Yet somehow not enough. What else? Uh, well, okay, so films are always a reflection of their time, and political and social climates can have an impact on the prevalent themes and even genres of films being produced by studios in... You're scared of the vacuum cleaner, right? I really hate it! Yeah, so if there was, say, a movie about a group of dogs who fight off a vacuum cleaner, and the movie is all about how awful vacuum cleaners are... That sounds good! I want to watch it! Right, so that's the kind of movies they did in the 50s. Go on. So in the 1950s, when everyone was scared of a secret invasion, Hollywood made lots of movies about invading aliens. And these movies were very popular because everyone was like, See? Invasions are the worst, and now everyone knows it! And later on in the 60s, everyone started changing their minds about things they thought were okay. Which meant that in the 70s, movies suddenly had less rules about what they could show. So lots of movies started having guns and kissing and men in suits swearing a lot. Meanwhile, musicals stopped doing well everywhere except for in India where they did better than ever and Bollywood came into the spotlight. I like movies with dogs in. Was there a golden age of dog cinema? Not yet, but maybe one day. It would be nice to see heroes like us on a big screen. Yeah, representation is important. So what happened after the 70s? Oh, lots of things, and almost all of them were made by Steven Spielberg, and the ones that weren't were probably made by George Lucas. Or they were like, anime. Who's anime? No, anime. It's a kind of Japanese animated film, and it got really popular in the 80s. Still is. 90 comes after 80. True. What happened then? A lot of special effects, and family movies. Disney did quite a bit in the 90s. And then in 1995, they released the first ever movie made entirely with computers. It was called Toy Story. <gasps> Toys! There was a dog in that film. Yay! 
but it was a baddie. Boo. Nowadays, movies are still quite a big deal. There are movies made all over the world, and there are some movies that everyone likes so much they made them again. Or there are some movies that are all connected, and there are movies about wizards and heroes and love and monsters and history in the future. There are even some movies about movies. Wow, I wonder what kind of movies there will be next. Well, it's still all changing all the time. Movies will always evolve with time and technology. Like, everyone loves 3D movies again, and now some cinemas are 4D, whatever that means. And just look at how the movie world has been changed by the internet. <laughs> okay. Who knows what films will be like, even 10 years from now. Yeah. <laughs> uh... What's the internet? <laughs> <laughs>